Hello everyone, today we are going to interview Pong De Long, a crazy bus player. He has the world record of most trophies for bus, 1740. He will give us some advice and we will watch the high-end trophy gameplay while he gives some tips and tricks on how to actually improve with him. First of all, you have to know this is at a 1740 trophy range, so of course he will play way different than I would do at a 500 to 600 trophy range. He's going to be way more passive because if he even gets one time 10th place, then that is an hour wasted in solo showdown. An hour that he is grind will not continue, which is crazy much. Let's say if we lose a game at 800 trophies, then we can manage to recover from that in less than 10 minutes. Well, for him it takes over an hour. So he will have a way more different play style than all of us. Teaming is unfortunately more necessary at high trophy ranges and you will have to look at how people react their emotions because players do get mad when you attack someone out of nowhere so showdown at high trophy ranges is unfortunately just full of teaming and that's something you need to take into consideration on how to actually deal with it and how to win and manage to get first place because only the first and second place will guarantee you to get some trophies. Pong Long told us that one of the most important advice he can give with Buzz is to charge your super before you're going for any kills. Use the super charge range to your advantage so you can check the bushes. It is important to play at these trophy ranges way way more passive if you play aggressive, it is less consistent for trophies, and since you only get trophies at the first and second place, you need to be more passive. You cannot attack people out of nowhere, because they do get emotional and they will all target you. If you go aggressive at high trophy ranges, people will target you in groups. People will not like that. You can see until the very last seconds right now, when the map is getting closer, people are still not attacking each other. People are waiting and looking at how other people react. A Shelly that can easily take out Pong De Long is not taking him out because she knows that if she attacks Pong De Long, she will get taken out by all the other Shellys. As you can slowly see, you can see people starting to betray each other. You can see that the strong brawlers are still afraid to get a lower place than second or first because they are all in the high end trophy ranges. Pond Long told me that it is very important to play bus passive. Passive is way more consistent for getting trophies. The best bus maps in Showdown are Rockwall Brawl, Acid Lakes and Double Trouble. These maps give Buzz the best opportunity to charge super consistently and get boxes because getting power cubes is very important at these trophy ranges. You must always try to seek and go for the best position on the map. That's also very important with Buzz, a good position because once you get cornered you know that it's going to be very hard to get out of it. Each map will have other brawlers who are mainly strong at teaming. So each map requires you to play differently, to, requires you to play and uh, treat those teamers differently because other brawlers have other abilities that are very strong. Primo can easily cancel out supers while, while Shelly can blast off everyone and charge supers instantly after each other and kill everyone once she gets in the right position. I asked Pong De Long if he likes teaming and he said that teaming can be very enjoyable if done correctly. If you want to get kills at the start, you only have to do it when you have a very safe opportunity. It is never a good start to risk your place and to risk getting negative in trophies at these trophy ranges. He don't think that Showdown Plus solve teaming. It's the same as regular Showdown. Only at the lower trophy ranges that Showdown Plus became a solution. To be more aggressive and to see more betrayal. Which was something that Brawl Stars wanted to happen. They wanted the players to be more aggressive. But at high-end trophy ranges, 
it's still the same because people know what they risk if they play too aggressive or if they make a mistake. Long the Long started to push Buzz on August 16 when he had just 168 trophies. So far he has pushed 194 hours with just a daily average of 7 hours playing. Pong the Long says that it's very important to go for the power cubes that are very close to you at the start. You don't have to contest anyone for cubes unless it is bus. You don't want another bus to getting more power cubes than you. Otherwise, you will guarantee not to win, assuming that he will make it to the end. He usually tries to go to the middle, only it's safe, of course. That's depending on each map. After you get the power cubes, you always charge your super up before you go for any kills. That is almost something you always need to do. If you go for kills without super, you risk it and that's something you cannot do at these trophy ranges. Hong Long told me if you wanted to play in high trophy ranges and get a high amount of trophies on one brawler, you must always try to not contest anyone to get a kill. You must always try to look at yourself and go for power cubes. You must play safe and passive instead of aggressive, especially at high trophy ranges. It is important to not get demotivated if you lose trophies, because that is the main reason that people do not get past 1250 trophies, which is already not easy to do so. It is important that you stay motivated and it is important that you find the fun in teaming. Teaming can be very enjoyable if you do it correctly. You know that these players all that you are playing against have a high high trophy range. So they all do it for fun. They all do it for the grind. So they all have something to lose which is very important to remind. If you kill someone and all the players are around you and they see that you are teaming and you are making a great mistake because you know they will target you they will look at you as someone who is who they need to fear which is very bad for you for your reputation a bad reputation is solo showdown and especially in a game when you are teaming with almost whole lobby is very bad they will always target you and kill you don't make people think that you are a threat to them don't make people think that you are different than them. You are just a regular teamer who is trying to go for the best position on that particular map. The best position to get a kill. Let's say a Frank is right in front of you and an El Primo is right next to you. Who do you go to kill? It is better to kill the El Primo than to go for the Frank because the Frank will likely super you and stun you and you will have no chance to win. You must look at the brothers who are left and the chances you will take to kill them. Do not kill people when everyone is around you or you will be seen as a threat, which is again very bad. Pong Long told me that Buzz's gadgets can be used at the start to get to the perfect position to get some power cubes, especially on Skull Creek. This is perfect to use your gadget and to get you to the perfect position, because know that you must always try to go for your super with a stun, not use your gadget to kill enemies because it will not stun them, and that is a very important thing. You must stun them to cancel out potential damage and to get a higher trophy and to get in a higher place I mean. I really hope all of you like that I interview these players who get two insane high trophies with just one brawler in solo showdown and duo showdown. And if you do let me know down in the comments and let me know which brawler record would you like to see next. I'm trying to do more voice videos, it's not easy for me, I have a way different accent and a different voice. I have seen some people commenting that I should stop doing voice videos, that my accent is just very annoying. But I will not stop doing them, I will try to improve and get better at my English. My accent will stay the same and I think that's pretty nice. My accent makes me who I am, I am from Belgium so of course I have an accent, I am not a typical English speaker. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and let's now enjoy some games where I play bus at of course lower trophy range because I do not have 200 hours of time to get to 1700 trophies with bus and I personally do not find teaming very enjoyable anymore so I do not choose to play at this high of a trophy range.